Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome everybody. Welcome to uh, the audience in this room today and to everyone who is following us uh, online on Zoom. Welcome to this uh, uh, first day of this two-day workshop on technology transfer in life sciences organized by Human Technopol, Netval and uh, Jus Pavia. Uh, I am Nicola Nosengo, I am the editor of Nature Italy and I'll be moderating this uh, first day of this workshop. Um, I will uh, only say before uh, starting to introduce our speakers today that as a journalist uh, uh, covering uh, uh, science, research and innovation in Italy, uh, I am extremely interested in the topic of this two-day event uh, because technology transfer is an essential element for the future of Italian science and ultimately of the Italian economy. We spend a lot of time we science journalists and scientists alike uh, saying, uh, uh, remarking how important it would be to increase the investments in research, either basic or applied in Italy. And of course, that's a very important topic and we are right in keep saying that. But that's only one of the wheels of the mechanism that, that turns science into an engine of growth for a country. Another essential wheel is technology transfer. Uh, not coincidentally, the Italian uh, recovery plan, the PNRR, PNRR, puts a lot of emphasis on the topic of technology transfer and it is essential to uh, improve the mechanisms and ultimately to improve the culture around technology transfer in Italy. Uh, so this two-day event is uh, the beginning of a, of a, of a project uh, and of a new role that Human Technopol um, will uh, assume with respect to the Italian community on the topic of technology transfer. And over these two days, you will hear uh, a bit about uh, the topic of technology transfer in life science in its various aspects and also a series of uh, uh, case studies of uh, um, uh, scientific projects that made it into becoming uh, uh, innovation projects, companies, uh, successful companies, and so on. Now, to tell you a bit more of uh, the meaning of this uh, workshop and of the, the larger project that Human Technopol has, I would like to invite to the stage uh, Fabio Terragni, who is a member of the management committee of Human Technopol, in particular in charge of technology transfer. Fabio Terragni has been uh, involved in uh, uh, innovation in various capacities as a professor, as a consultant, as a, as a manager of public and private innovation ventures. And uh, you will tell us a bit more about Human Technopol's projects in this field. Welcome, Fabio. Thank you. And uh, welcome here in Human Technopol to all the present audience and to the people who is following us online. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to welcome you and to thanks the people who organized with us this first initiative in uh, technology transfer. That's uh, NETVAL, that's the National Association for the Valorization of Science, and uh, use the superior high study school then uh, will be presented much better than what can I do uh, by Ricardo Pietrabissa in Pavia. Together we organized such a workshop because we wanted to uh, emphasize that in Italy there is not only a very good science in life science and not only, but there are also a lot of interesting and wonderful experiences in the technology transfer of the knowledge that has been acquired in the laboratories. So uh, we want to support the growth of the technology transfer, I can say movement and helping all the young researchers, all the researchers and all the institutions who are involved in this uh, venture to do the best uh, with uh, our small support, because even Human Technopol is a starting venture. So we want to uh, stay with you and with the existing institution to mm, reinforce, to strengthen the uh, technology transfer research uh, movement. I want to introduce you what's going on in the human technopole now in the first slide. Uh, we can see in the following slide, we can see 
Ah, okay, thank you. Sorry. Um, we want to recall what's our mission. Um, Human Technopole has been established to carry out frontier research uh, to improve people's health and well being. Uh, with a setup of large scale laboratories, very we started to 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 build, with an interdisciplinary laboratories laboratories with research infrastructures, and it want to be an open hub to all the uh, community of researchers in Italy and not only in Italy, and one of the mission of the uh, human technopoles is also to. Uh, develop industrial collaboration and technology transfer activities. Um, in the first years of activities of the Human Technopole, uh, we have been able to develop some uh, starting points, such as, first of all, the uh, ch choice of the main directors, First of all, Jan Mattai is the scientific director of uh, the Human Technopole. It, it, he comes from the European Molecular Biology Laboratory in Heidelberg and uh, has very strong experience in developing and managing such kind of institutions. In the following months, we develop uh, uh, you know, offices and laboratories and now at the end of 2021 uh, we reached the number of 200 people uh, of staff uh, part administrative staff and part research staff and we hope to reach the number of 450 people at the end of 2023 um, so it's a growing hub uh, doing research, working with the national health system and industry. And now we have been uh, appointed with a new role. Uh, there has been a, a law, the law decree number 2034 of uh, May 2020, giving us the role of establishing a center for innovation and technology transfer inside the human technopole and to promote collaboration in the field with existing institutions. So we are doing both uh, such activities. This is the first initiative in the field of technology transfer, and we are very happy to have a, you know, a high level panel. And we want with this initiative motivate young researchers to do their best in, uh, you know, developing uh, uh, their research and transferring to, to the market. So very briefly, we will take care of IP management, of dissemination of research results, uh, of uh, networking in the field, and strategic development in life science. Um, as I said, this is the first initiative. It will be followed uh, to, uh, um, with a, by a course, I would like to call a course of uh, training uh, in technology transfer with more detail that will be developed together with NetVal in the following months. Uh, and there will be other initiatives that we will present in the following, in the next few months. That's it. Thank you again. I give back the floor to the moderator. Thanks for coming here and uh, have a nice time with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much to Fabio Terragni for this introduction. I'm sure, um, I'm sure the initiatives you have just presented will be extremely interest, interesting for the Italian scientific community and for the many researchers who have a potential innovation uh, waiting uh, in their labs and on their tables.